I'm Sean McClellan, and I'm a man made of ink. I'm Eva Scheffler, and I want to be a pumpkin. Do you really, though? Why not? I'm Tom Moore, and I got this week's Around Campus. I'm Matt Manna with the Fastest Minute Evan Sports. These are the BB and BB Morgan Athens Rock Party, October 29th. Good morning, Mepham. Today is day one. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Pirates. Happy beginning to Hollow Weekend. To start off Friday, let's recap all the beautiful events we had this past week. Ah, I see what you did there, Sean. On Wednesday, the Foreign Language Honor Societies all held inductions for junior and some senior class members. I'm very excited to be back in the building. I'm very proud of all of the students, and it was great to see it in person. It was great to see these commemorations of hard work and dedication be celebrated in person once again. Last Friday, the Leo and AWOD clubs had a Rangoli event outside by the parking lot. The club members used very colorful powdered sand and chalk on the concrete. Students had to sign up beforehand to partake, and they had a very nice and colorful time learning about Rangoli. The chalk drawings were art, and so were the pumpkins too. This Monday, the Art Service Club painted pumpkins. The students involved had a good time. Students who wanted to keep their pumpkin got to take it home. If the student decided not to take their pumpkin home, you can buy it in the main office for 5 to $7. All proceeds will benefit the Art Service Club in their future endeavors. Also in the art department, it was Inktober. Inktober is an annual event where artists are given an ax to respond to a prompt for every day of the month of October. Some themes from this month included crystal, spirit, witch, compass, crispy, and splat. All submissions were posted to the Mepham Art Instagram, so be sure to check it out all the previously posted works, as well as keep an eye out for the last three days this weekend. Now that we know what happened, let's find out what's happening. Today is Mepham's first ever trunk or treat event. Sponsored by the leadership class, the event will be held after school today in the senior parking lot. Seniors and juniors with cars will be parking their decorated vehicles and opening up their trunks for kids from local elementary schools to enjoy a safe trick or treat experience. A little while later, on November 3rd, is the Light the Night Walkathon. The walk will be held in honor of the students and faculty members impacted by leukemia and lymphoma. See a Leo, AWOT, or a Kickland member, such as myself, to get involved and make a donation, all of which will benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. You're a Kickland prodigy, Ava, but you also are a producer prodigy. A producer prodigy, if you will. Exactly. Aside from the morning announcements, being uploaded to our b, b YouTube channel today, we will also be uploading our annual STN Horror Short Film Festival, produced by Ava and hosted by our very own Haley Hepworth and King of Everything, me. We get to watch b, b s creative side take a spooky spin. Be sure to check it out today. Beware, you'll be spooked. Also spooky, the cold. I am so cold right now. Let's see how chilly it'll be this weekend. Here's Sid Earth with the weather. Hey everybody, it's the new weatherman. Just kidding, it's me again, Sid Earth, back with the weather this weekend. Thank you Cumulonimbus for wishing me an unhappy birthday, but I know everyone's happy that I'm doing the weather today, and not you. Anyways, today's weather is not bad, with a high of 58 and a low of 55, with some light showers, maybe. Saturday, we also have some pretty heavy rain, with a high of 64 and a low of 54. The weather has been pretty gloomy recently. But now that I'm covering it, it is sure to lighten up, but hopefully not too much as we go into this year's Halloween. And with that, we have Sunday's weather, with a high of 62 and a low of 51. Partly cloudy, but generally clear skies. Perfect weather for your spooky Halloween. Make sure you stay safe this Sunday, and I don't care how old I am, you'll still see me trick-or-treating on this Halloween. Thanks, Sid. Chilling. Now that we know the weather, let's see if it will affect any games this weekend. Here's Matt Mano with your week in Mepham Sports. Thanks, Sean. Fall season is almost a wrap. 
On Wednesday, both soccer teams' playoff runs came to an end. The girls fell to Garden City 4-0, and the boys lost a nail-biter of a game versus Roosevelt penalties. Great season, Pirates. Yesterday, the Belmore Merrick Lady Sharks won their 11th division title in a row. Congrats to Veronica Galfan, Calista Chen, Brooke Armstrong, and BNB's very own Riley and Reagan Freed on qualifying for states. Today, the girls' volleyball team takes on Limbrook on the road in their playoff opener. Tomorrow, the football team takes on Calhoun in a game that BNB will, of course, have its cameras at. It's the Pirates' final game before the playoffs, which we will, of course, have coverage at. The opponent is still to be determined. Not only that, but the cross-country team travels to Bethpage Park tomorrow for their Nassau County Champion. If you can't get enough of BNB sports, which I can't blame you for, head to the BNB YouTube to check out our coverage of the boys' volleyball senior game versus Levitan. Finally, Astros in seven. I'll be taking no further questions. That's all from me. I'm Matt Mana. Back to Ava and Sean in the studio. Fabulous, Matt, but our dip into the sports pool is not over yet. This week's sports director, Tom Morrow, sat down with athlete Sam Rakos in this week's Around Campus. Hello and welcome to this week's Around Campus. This week we are coming to you from our sports talk set, a monthly show where we are always talking sports. Four to five Metman sport teams are in the postseason. That's why we're here on the sports talk set. I'm BNB Sports Director Tom Morrow, joined by freshman Sam Rikos. Welcome to the show, Sam. Thank you so much for having me. So the past two years, and now making it three, this year, the girls' volleyball team made a run to the playoffs. What are you looking forward to in the postseason? Honestly, I'm just so excited that we were able to make it to playoffs this year. Um, I think everyone really just wants to dominate and continue to move through the playoffs, and we even have a chance at winning, so that's really exciting. For yourself, being a freshman playing at the varsity level, what's the experience been like? Obviously, being a freshman in varsity is a little difficult since you're moving into an environment with people you don't really know, but these girls have treated me like family since day one, and I'm just so excited to be on the team this year. You know, a great record this year, 11-2 and two for you guys. Um, you know, you only lost two games, and that's the same team, Valley Stream North. You know, how are you guys, you know, what was the success for you guys this year? You know, how were you able to get past those two games and, you know, finish the season out? Starting off with a loss obviously wasn't the easiest, but I think we were able to learn from it and realize that communication is our biggest key um, to even getting anywhere in the playoffs, and we're definitely going to use that as our way to win. Thanks, Sam, and best of luck to you guys and all the Mountain Sports teams in the postseason. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Tom. It's great to see the camaraderie that sports bring to a community. Now for this week's quote, confidence is contagious, so is lack of confidence. These have been the B&B morning announcements for Friday, October 29th. Have a great day, Mepham. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <That's> so bad. <laughs> so good.